so on the course catalog uh, on this spring we have completed a number of small uh ui and ux fixes uh, quite a lot to be to be honest the small things that we have found during the development and we have made good progress on extending the set in the catalog as, as i mentioned but it is still in progress and we added the setting to enable the catalog from the ui finally which means that once this is released the users will be able to um enable the catalog from the site administration for now the default value is no so it's not enabled by default and this is because in the first release of the catalog we only include courses so programs will not be added it's something that is scheduled for the next release of the learning catalog and that's why we don't have we don't uh, enable it by default so to to let admins to choose if they want to use our catalog or not so the catalog is ready for 4.4 release on the 21st of May. Uh, you can see Happy Dance from Steve Ballmer and Steve Jobs. So uh, we're not doing this dance, by the way, and we're releasing on the 21st of May, 4.4. Uh, so finally, we can release the catalog in there. So on the course catalog, as I was saying, uh, we completed the new courses that we, uh, Marina will uh, talk about this uh, in the next, we completed a number of small UI and UX fixes, finally, and we added the option to display custom fields uh, that are not visible, to display them in the catalog. So by doing this, we can allow armies to create these special custom fields that uh, will be only displayed in the catalog. And finally, we added an icon on the launcher. So uh, right now it only takes to the configuration, but since we are going to add more functionality in the next releases, it will get to the management interface for the whole catalog. And we're very happy about this. We can finally release. So, uh, so I'm going to hand over to Marina to talk about the search methods we have implemented on the catalog. Hello, uh, my name is Marina Glancy. I'm a technical architect on the workplace team. Um, so this is a new part that was added here. This is a course search method where you can switch between the uh, simple search and extended search at the moment. And uh, uh, there is also a hook there uh, that allows to, okay, now it's switched, that uh, allows other plugins uh, to implement more um, uh, search engines and pro potentially connect to like solar or type sense or something uh, that actually can search like you know when you give a word it searches for variations of this word uh in english is probably not that uh, uh important but in other languages can be uh really important and uh, the extended search has configuration of what uh, you can search uh, uh, what fields uh, should be indexed. And this means that, well, with a simple search, it's like a course search in uh, LMS. You only search in the course short name, course full name, and the summary, because they are fields in the course table. And with this extended search, you can uh, search in any field, including um, uh, any uh, custom field, the, the tags, course category, uh, and also fields. I don't know if it's going to, no, it's not showing up on the uh, screen share. So this is the field that is hidden from uh, the view. So people cannot actually see this field, but uh, the search will actually uh, work with it. Uh, and also you can see that there is a priority. So uh, this is something I'm going to demonstrate now. So like, first of all, if like I uh, search for the word intermediate, for example, this is the, the uh, custom field. So you can see that I can find all the courses that contain this word in the custom field and not in the title or description. And this is an uh, example of search priority. So I'm searching for the word health. And you can see here that my priorities are course full name, then category, and then course summary. Right, so this I have all the courses where health is in the full name first. Then I have courses where okay, this is still in the full name. This is a course where the uh, word is in the category, and then after that, uh, after that, here you will see the word health in the summary. 
Um, and uh, another big advantage of this uh, um, uh, big work that we did on the core search is that it doesn't, uh, I cannot show it on this side because it's very small, but basically uh, it doesn't check your permissions on all the courses. It only checks permissions to view the courses for the pages that are shown in the pagination element. So this is like two more pages plus one more course to see if there if you should display dot 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 or not. And I have used Udemy uh, API to download all their courses. That's 54,000 courses and I created, uh, imported them into the Moodle site. Uh, and uh, uh, this works very fast on the big amount of courses big number of courses 